Okay, so yeah, so this is buttermilk and sriracha hot sauce, Asian hot sauce in here, mixed with just salt and pepper, um, and that's it. If you don't know what sriracha sauce is, this is what it looks like. Can't you tell I use it a lot? I love this stuff. I've, I've always um, wanted to use it in a lot of different ingredients. Once I bought this, um, I actually use this quite a lot. It is hot if you're just, you know, using it to put on your already cooked chicken, but it's not going to be hot. It's not like when you put this in there, your chicken's going to be blazing hot. It actually helps just like if you were to put regular hot sauce in your mix with your chicken. It actually helps to give your batter more of a crunch when you fry it. So this is what it looks like. You can pick this up at any grocery store, Walmart, Meyer, uh, Kroger, wherever you shop. And this is what the bottle looks like. Trust me guys, when you use this, you won't stop using it. It's so good. It has a lot of things already in it, so that's the only reason why I didn't put any other ingredients besides just the salt and pepper. Um, because it has garlic, it has sugar, salt, chili, chilies in there. Um, yeah, so that's the only thing I use for this and I let it marinate for I actually did this early in the morning before I headed to work, which was I want to say around 9 o'clock I got off of work at 730 I made it home by 8 so this has been marinating for a good 10 11 hours or whatever so this is well marinated and then in this bowl oh I'm sorry and in this bowl what we're gonna do with this is we're actually gonna fry the chicken breast so we're gonna have some fried chicken in one of the wraps and then in this bowl we're actually going to grill our chicken so if you don't want to do the frying and you want to be on the more healthier side then we're gonna go with this option of just um, grilling our chicken and simply what I did with this is I put water in a bowl I put the other two chicken breasts that I sliced in half in here um, I put whole sliced onions in there as you can see the black little specks these are peppercorns uh, I just had one I dropped it anyways they're peppercorns so that black little thing right there they're not bugs they're peppercorns and I picked these up a while ago and I've had them ever since um, I just put them in my little own spice jar you can find these easily. Any grocery store has them. I use them mostly for when I'm trying to marinate or anything like that or put them in my stews or my chilies and stuff. And then I take them out. And then I have some thyme in here with some salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And that's it. I was going to add a lemon, but I didn't have a lemon. I like to add lemon also when I'm marinating my chicken, but I didn't have it. So I just used those ingredients and I let that sit in my refrigerator at the same time. I let this sit and that's it. So we're going to do two versions. We're going to do the fried chicken wrap. It's going to be crunchy, good, juicy. And then we're going to go on the lighter side a little bit and do our nice tender grilled chicken wrap. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's just finish the touch. On this side, this is the grilled chicken that we did. And on this side over here, this is the fried chicken 
I just have one piece sliced and then for the grill and one piece sliced for the fried and then I just left the other pieces whole because we're not going to eat all that in one serving just for myself but if you have kids you can definitely just make them smaller pieces if it's yourself you can leave it whole if you want and just put it on your tortilla wrap or whatever bread you're using you don't have to um slice them but i like mine sliced because i don't want to get a big chunk of meat so yeah next i'm going to show you guys how